Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a right triangular prism. So, first of all, you're going to use the pattern for the right triangular prism. You're going to need that. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And you're going to need some glue. You're also going to need a pen or a pencil and a ruler. To start out doing this, what you want to do is open your pen up and go onto the shape. But before you do that, take a few extra pieces of paper and slide it underneath your paper. That will allow your paper <coughs> to make an indentation on your picture. Take your pen and use your ruler and push down along all of the dark edges of your shape. You don't need to push down on the edges of the tabs since you're going to be cutting those out. So we'll place the ruler on each line and then what we'll do is we'll draw, draw down the line with your pen. This will help there to be an indentation for when you want to fold things later. So I'm going to do this on each, each side of each shape and that will allow me to fold this much easier when I go to do it. If I don't, I'll be trying to crease and fold accurately at the same time, which is very difficult to do when you've got just these little tabs hanging off the edges. So I'm putting the ruler just slightly off the line so that when I put the pen down, it's on the line and I'm tracing every single one of these lines. The next thing I'm going to do when I'm done with this is I'm going to cut out the shape along the tabs. Do not cut on the lines you just traced with your pen. The lines you trace with the pen are for <coughs> easy folding, not for cutting. So now I'm going to take the shape and I'm going to cut it out. And you guys probably don't really need to watch me cut it out, but I'm going to try and keep it in the camera anyway. Um, I'm just going to cut this along the tabs. But I basically want you to get an idea of how long this will really take you to do. I'm trying to cut fairly quickly. because I want to get this done. This is my gift that you got for me. Oh, hello. <laughs> that all of you guys got for Yeah, me. I do want to look at that. And it's the truth. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Think of this. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Yeah. And was everyone in your classes today? Uh, Emmy was absent. Okay. Who, and she's back. And now. she's back now, right? Okay. But she was the only one that was absent from my first period class. Perfect. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. Yeah. Now you're on, you're now on my video. Your voice is. Oh, okay. Say hi to my classes, Mrs. Kirkpatrick. Well, hello, classes. Okay. Good. <laughs> Yeah, and make your, okay, I'm doing a demo. And so now that I've got this all folded, what I'm going to do now is fold all of the tabs up. And it's going to be easy to do because I've already pre-scribed each of these lines. Okay, so <clears throat> I just fold them over and they fold over very quickly because I was very careful to draw with my pen on each line. And then I'll unfold them and I don't know what this looks like because I can't see the picture, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. And I don't really have to work to crease them exactly in the right place because the ballpoint pen did that for me. Okay. And, oops, could you see that? And now I'm gonna fold this one over. Now I've got all the tabs folded, but now I need to fold all the edges of my shape. So my, I'm going to fold my edges over. And, and they're very easy to fold because I 
pre-scribed the edges. If I hadn't done that, they would be very difficult. I'd have to watch very carefully as I fold. And notice I'm folding inside, towards the inside of my shape. I'm not folding backwards so that the lines don't show when I'm done. So now I've got all my tabs cut out and everything all folded and ready to go. And now I'm going to choose two sides. I'm going to fold them in slightly. I'm going to take my glue. Remember, I said you need Elmer's glue, and I've got it set so it comes out really thinly. I hope you can see this. It is going to come out really thinly. I might squeeze it hard. Okay, it's not. Okay. So there it comes out way too much. But what I'll do is I'll just rub my finger on it, and I'll just rub that down the other side. These are the two tabs that are going to meet together. So, and now, I'm just going to push these together like this, and I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. Since it's paper, I can do that. And basically give it about three or four seconds to dry, and then start on your next side. So I'm going to get this one, put glue on this tab, and its facing tab is going to be here. So I'm going to rub that thin, and rub this thin, and then I'm going to fold it in so that they meet, and hold it together slightly for just a few seconds. Now I'm noticing that these two sides are going to have to be done next, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of fold this in. Whoa, this might be a challenging one and let this glue dry right here. I might sit it down for a few seconds to let it dry. Ah! Now I'm gonna take my glue. I keep getting my hand in your way. I can't do this right-handed. But I'm gonna take my glue and go down this side right here. And this side up here. And I'm gonna rub it thin. My other sides are coming apart again, but I'm going to put this together real quickly. Eek! And just hold it for a second. Now, some of you might find that this isn't the easiest thing for you to do. It's not a skill you've practiced, and so you might choose to have a rubber band on hand or something else. But this seems to work for the most part. And now, because I have three sides that are kind of drying, I might just let that sit for just a second. You can see at the top, now I'm going to do my last two sides at the same time. I'm going to fold the tabs in so that they're ready to go. I'm going to fold this tab in and fold that tab in. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully it won't all fall apart. And we glue this together. Whoa. And I'm going to rub the glue smooth so that it's thin. Because it dries quicker if it's thin. And then I'm going to push this down in. I said push this down in. It is going to go in. There you go. And here we have a slightly messy triangular pyramid. But this works much better. See, I didn't quite get it perfect there. But this works much better with cardboard. But I want you to practice with paper so you have an idea of what you have to, you know, what sides have to go in at the same time and what sides don't. There. Now I'll let that dry and then I'll let you guys look at it and see what you guys think this should get for a grade. The end.